Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? Sorry, I know my hair probably looks awful. I just got out of the shower like I just got out of the shower. <laughs> um, welcome to the very last Vlogmas on the very last day of December. Vlogmas day 31. And it is December 31st of 2022. New Year's Eve, the very last day of this year. Um, at least 2022 wasn't like 2020, right? Like we can say that. I think it's pretty safe to say I'm good there. We are entering the year on Mercury retrograde though. Don't forget uh, for those of you who follow and are interested slash, slash believe in those uh, sort of things. So 2023 should be fun. Um, at least start out fun. I am attempting to maybe hurry through this a little bit. Uh, the last time I said that, it ended up being like a 30 minute video though. So I will try not to do that this time. Uh, partially because I know you guys probably have some New Year's Eve plans, I hope, or at least we'll have a lot of New Year's Eve videos. I, I would imagine there are people probably putting out some New Year's Eve content uh, or things on TV or um, family gatherings, like I said, or things like that. If you're if you're doing plans, um, or, you know, maybe you're lucky enough to, like, go to a party scene, kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm just talking because I'm tired, but um, I'm also trying to hurry because, like I said, I just got out of the shower, and apparently it is, like, killing poor little Maverick <laughs> because uh, him and Otis have been downstairs while I was up in the shower. <clears throat> I was upstairs showering, and then... Uh, I just decided like, you know, he's already like angry with me. So let me like duck in here real quick and do my Vlogmas video. And um, he's actually, he stopped like angrily. I was going to say shrieking. He's not really shrieking, but he's, uh, he's got like a very shrill puppy bark. That's what he's doing. He's, he's not, he's not, um, my biggest fan at this moment. He he still is. He still loves me, but he's very cross with me right now. Um, Otis is surprisingly just sitting there chill. I mean, what, he doesn't have much of a choice. <laughs> that and Otis doesn't care. Like he doesn't care like about being on his own and stuff. Like Maverick is the one who's like mom, 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 mom. You know. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm trying to hurry so I don't traumatize my poor puppy with uh, separation anymore. But yeah, so, and I just got off work, uh, thus the shower. And uh, I do like to do that as often as I can. Like sometimes I come on here before I take my shower uh, from after work shower and stuff. But here I am <laughs> after, after work, after showered. And, um, I kind of just like, couldn't wait to get home and shower for some reason today. Like it, I just felt like I, do you have those days where you're like, I just need to shower today off. And I don't know. Sometimes it's like relaxing. There's actually a, um, without getting like too deep into it, um, there is a, a magical practice, uh, that like to basically envision the water like cleansing away all the bad and negative energy off of you and uh that purifying you and uh empowering you and um it's basically part of like a self-love spell and ritual and uh it's it's just a envision uh tool while you're showering and or bathing or whatever and um I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a nice thought, you know, the water, like washing away, not just like physical dirt. Oh, see, there he goes. <laughs> um, physical dirt, but you know, like all the tiredness of the day and the, the wear and tear of the day just on you emotionally and stuff. So especially with the previous mentioned Mercury <laughs> retrograde. Um, but anyway, so my day wasn't per se bad. It was just long and uh, really long. And I am just, I think I'm just nervous about, uh, again, I'm, I'm filming this my Friday night. So when I say tomorrow, I mean New Year's Eve because I'm working. 
Uh, I'm just nervous. Uh, I am, uh, as there were some suggestions, I, I am planning to play some music for the pups, unless David is super against that, which I don't see why he would be. But he does go to work after me, so he's probably the one that would hit play. <laughs> uh, so hopefully he's for it. I will set it up for him and everything. You just have to push play. And um, hopefully they'll be okay. I really do think Maverick would just sleep through it if Otis is pretty chill. I did notice that there is some rain in the forecast, so I kind of hope it just frankly pours and maybe my neighbors will not want to light off anything. That would be the best thing ever. Um, I love rain to begin with, but that would be like a blessing, honestly. It really would, um, as far as the boys go. So we'll see how it goes, but um, hopefully you have seen the Movie Marquee uh, Challenge video that I posted yesterday. Today, yesterday, this morning, kind of. Yesterday morning, really. <laughs> Time is an illusion for me at the moment. Um, but I drew Young Guns 2, which is one of my favorite movies ever. Oh, so excited. I already started my project for that. No, I'm not going to show you. You're going to have to watch and see next the next update. Um, but I'm pretty excited. Pretty darn excited. And uh, yeah, I, I'm super excited about this year. Uh... As long as this pattern that I'm doing doesn't like throw me any weird curveballs, because this is obviously my first, well, not obviously, this is my first time doing it though. So as long as nothing like weird goes on uh, and I'm equally as excited about doing it 12 more times to make these intricate diamonds, or I might square off the diamonds. Um, we'll see how it goes. That's all I'm saying about it though. But uh, as long as everything goes as planned, I'll say, Oh, I can't wait to sh I can't wait to show you guys. I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I did today was work. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> Damon and I Pokemon hunted after work a little bit. And then I just, I needed to get home to the boys. Like when I say after work a little bit, I mean like on the way home, we stopped at some pokey stops and, and took some gyms and then went, went about our business. We didn't like go hardcore play or anything. Uh, and that will not be happening tomorrow because as soon as I get done, I told him uh, I'm coming straight here to uh, check on the boys first and foremost. So... I'm really worried about them. <laughs> uh, and then tonight I'm going to get, I'm either going to watch it tonight or when I get up before I go to work. I haven't decided which yet, but I kind of think like I would like to do it maybe before work tomorrow because I, I think Otis is pretty like uh, high energy tonight and I don't think he's going to let me sit down long enough to watch a movie like a full-on movie, and I think Maverick would be pretty chill tomorrow because uh, Otis sleeps with David when he goes to, to bed, uh, so that's like me and Maverick time. Uh, so I think Maverick would be pretty chill and let me watch a movie with him. Like, he'd probably just cuddle up in my arms and probably nap, honestly, or watch it with me. He likes to watch TV, so we could do that tomorrow before I go to work. Uh, if I could make myself go to bed early enough, I could just get up early enough and watch it. That'd be amazing. That would make like probably the best possible New Year's Eve day ever for me. But I'm going to watch my New Year's Eve movie. And like I'm not being vague when I say that. It's called New Year's Eve. If you watched yesterday's Vlogmas, I talked about it. Um, and if you get a chance to watch it, I would highly recommend it, even if it's not on New Year's Eve. I love that movie so much. I can't wait to watch it. Um, but that's my big plans before I go to work. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. I don't have a lot of anything else to say. There was no mail of any sort. So no happy mail. There was no anything. Maverick is getting really upset with me. So I'm going to stop babbling. Um, I am going to get on with my advent calendar. And if you guys are familiar with it or are not familiar with it, I should say, 
my advent calendar is inspired by this bag right here. This bag is made from material that was specially printed for me and then made into this beautiful project bag. The material, as you can see, looks like stickers from Stranger Things universe here. Many different stickers that you can find scattered across the interwebs if you look for them. And that does also mean, gratuitously mentioning, that there is a lot of white in it, which I'm not a fan of at all. But that's okay. That is okay. Um, that was part of the surprise. And uh, yeah, so that's all right. It does go together in a set, so it's okay. Um, that being said, I am still trying to name all of them in some way, like via some character's name or some place in Stranger Things or some situation in Stranger Things, uh, so forth and so on. And uh, if you guys have any ideas, I ask that you put them in the comments each day. And uh, once we're done with the, cat, with the advent calendar, uh, I'm going to go through them and we'll do a whole little Stranger New Year special show about it. And uh, go through like some of the names and I'm really excited about that because I didn't I may and just add in my um Halloween one my 13 day Halloween one because I never ended up doing because that's when I got the puppies and everything just went chaotic in my life for a little while um like they're tagged but there's no names written on them or anything like that so yeah so let's get on with opening it we're on they're definitely like not out of order. I've been opening them in order, but they're not like lined up with any days because I'm on day 18 because it came so late. And right there, day 18. So I will show you a preview. Let's see if we can come up with a name for it, shall we? anything good I'm peeking <laughs> all right I saw something hmm. okay so we've got white <laughs> and blue a lot of white and blue uh, striping streaking here and then like there's a darker blue here and then there is a little bit of yellow kind of dappled in there like a fluorescent yellow but for the most part everything else down here is a blue like a darker blue streak in this white hmm there we go presume you can see that pretty well from here actually pretty true to color see there's a pretty pretty dark dark blue here and then this yellow does continue down to here it's just really 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 light down here and then yeah like I'm like I've mentioned there's quite a bit of white going on up here it's like almost all white yellow blue white hmm I feel like we've had this Maybe not as, like, maybe not in the same mixture of, like, yellow to blue to white, but I feel like we've had yellow, blue, white already. What do we call this one, you guys? I was probably equally stumped on the other one. Hmm. Was there a flannel shirt that was blue and white with a little bit of yellow? I think Hopper's flannel was blue and white with some brown in season two. Did maybe Elle have one on? That would still be such a stretch though, right? Like Elle's flannel. Or oh, <laughs> did somebody have one on though? I'm not sure, to be fully honest. Any ideas popping up, guys? Any? Any? All right. Let me know down below if something came to mind. For now, I am going to pop it back in this little bag that it came in and then pop.
pop it in this big bag right here that was made for me. So I think that is everything. So tomorrow we'll start Stranger New Year. How about that? All right. Um, I think that's everything. Um, I'm going to get out to my little puppies and uh, enjoy my time with them and try to calm them down because I bet I bet they're going to be crazy now. I kind of like came home, took them potty and was like, let me just go get this shower in and everything, guys, and then we'll spend more time. <laughs> Poor Maverick. All right, I'm going to go. Um, I'll talk to you very soon. And yeah, I love you guys. If I don't come back on before then, know that I absolutely love you, that I am wishing you the happiest of new year. Uh, celebrate for me because I'll be at work. <laughs> and um, here is to 2023 being kind and wonderful for all of us and uh, just great. And I want everything great for you guys. I do. So I hope you know that. And um, yeah, I look forward to going into this new year together. So all right, I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.